Nin explains the rules of Wu Shu. The object of the game is to score more points than your opponents. Wu Shu is a collective term for various styles of Chinese Kung Fu and is the most popular martial arts in China. It's now contested internationally and is incredibly popular worldwide. Rather confusingly, Wu Shu has many different disciplines and competitions. The scoring criteria is different for each one, but I'll try and explain it as generically as I can. The sport of Wu Shu has two different disciplines. Tao Lu, which is pre-choreographed forms performed in front of judges, and San Da, which is fighting an opponent similar to many other combat martial arts. It's important to understand the rules of both in order to appreciate the diverse sports of Wu Shu. Tao Lu Tao Lu consists of pre-choreographed forms, usually performed to music, that exhibits a competitor's skill, power, flexibility and speed, in demonstrating a required list of techniques. It can be split into five generic areas of competition, which include Barehanded A contest where a competitor has no weapons at all, and all techniques are performed with an empty fist. Some of the more popular barehanded events include Zhang Quan, the long fist. This is a style famous for its high-flying acrobatics, flexibility, and difficult moves such as spinning punches and kicks. This is notoriously difficult and even harder to perform correctly without fault. Nan Quan, the southern fist. Whilst not as acrobatic as Zhang Quan, it's characterized by powerful movements and lightning-fast hand strikes. Tai Chi Quan, mistakenly called Tai Chi by the Western world, and is often depicted as a slow-moving martial art done by all people, but when done properly, it looks like this. When movements are sped up, this is actually a deadly form of self-defense. Short Weapons A short weapon is designated as any weapon that is typically below head height, and some of the most popular short weapon events include Dao, the broadsword curved one-sided sword that is flexible and can be used to attack an opponent with style. This is the sword equivalent of Zhang Quan, the long fist. Nan Dao, the southern broadsword. A straighter one-sided sword that is useful for simultaneous attack and defense, and is the short weapons equivalent of Nan Quan, the southern fist. Jian, the straight sword a two-sided sword using Jian Quan or Long Fist style movements. Tai Chi Jian, the Tai Chi sword, used to accompany Tai Chi Quan routines. Long weapons. A long weapon refers to any weapon that is typically above head height. Some of the more popular events include Guan, the cudgel, a long staff featuring immensely acrobatic moves and is the long weapon's equivalent to Jiang Quan, Nan Guan, the Southern Staff, is shorter than a Guan and is the long weapon's equivalent of Nan Quan. Tian, the Spear, characterized by bullet fast strikes and thrusts with an emphasis on relentless attack. Duel events, or Duilian, features teams of competitors choreographing fights against each other. They can be in pairs, or trios, or a team and the idea is to demonstrate techniques creatively in a simulated fight scene. Some of these routines are incredibly creative and they're great to watch. Group events, or DT, is contested between teams of people and is usually choreographed forms. Very similar to synchronized swimming or cheerleading, but with martial arts moves. Group events can be contested in the style of most events. Other, more unorthodox events include Jiu Ji Bian, the nine section whip. San Ji Guan, the three sectional staff. Ho Quan and Ho Guan, the monkey fist and the monkey staff. And Zui Quan, drunken boxing, as popularized by Jackie Chan in the iconic hit movie The Drunken Master. There are many more events, but there's way too many to list in this video. That's great and all, Nin, but how do you actually win?
It's complicated, but as a competitor, you must perform a routine with a certain number of required moves, acrobatics, strikes and poses that you will be judged on. Very similar to scoring in gymnastics and figure skating. Five sets of judges will be watching your every move, and they'll assess you on the following criteria. Quality of movements. These judges start you with five points and deduct points based upon basic techniques like punches and kicks. Should you not perform moves correctly, they will start deducting points. This is an objective score, as it's pretty obvious if you performed it correctly or you didn't. Quality of overall performance. These judges will start you with three or five points and will deduct points based on your overall performance, i.e. your artistry, your interpretation, your ability to link moves together, etc. This is a more subjective score and your score can be influenced by other factors such as other competitors' performances and the individual opinions of the judges. Degree of difficulty. These judges will add up to two points to your score depending on the degree of difficulty of your moves. They refer to a list and each move when performed correctly has a predetermined value which they can add to your score. Forms examiner. This judge will deduct for choreography errors, i.e. if a competitor has not done a required technique as required by that particular competition. And finally, a head judge, who deducts points if a competitor has not met the time requirements, i.e. if a routine is too long or too short. All the points are added up and subtracted, and that is the competitor's score. The person with the most points after all competitors in a specific event has performed wins. Sanda Sanda or San Shao is the other main discipline of Wu Shu. It's a combat sport that's a mixture of Western boxing, modern kickboxing, wrestling, and grappling. On the surface, it looks like Muay Thai or Thai boxing, and you'd be correct for assuming that. But the rules are slightly different because in this game, you must win two out of three rounds to win the contest. Sanda is contested by two individuals on a raised platform that measures eight meters by eight meters and is 80 centimeters above the ground. Once the referee tells you to begin, you start fighting. You are allowed to punch your opponent, kick your opponent, throw, grapple, and trip your opponent, and in professional competitions, knee, elbow, and choke your opponent also. The idea is to inflict as much damage to your opponent as possible, because five judges will be watching your every move. They'll award points based on successful punches, kicks, and throws performed onto your opponent, and they'll do the same for them. After two minutes are up, this is the end of the round, and the scores are tallied for each fighter. The person with the most amount of points at the end of the round wins that round and winning two out of three rounds wins you the fight. It, it's that easy? Pretty much, but there's a few other things that you'll need to know about Sandar. Clinching is used in Sandar as a way to grapple or knee your opponent and is perfectly legal. But if nothing happens after two seconds, the referee will stop the fight to separate you and your opponent in order to restart fighting. If you fall off the platform or are pushed off, the referee will indicate a warning. If you fall off or are pushed off the platform twice in a round, you automatically lose that round. This plays into the strategy of Sandar. If a competitor is not making any effort to fight, the referee will indicate that fighter to attack. Failure to do this results in either an admonishment or a more severe warning, and multiple infractions will result in disqualification. If a competitor is knocked down, they'll have 10 seconds to get back up. Failure to do this results in that fighter losing the round. If they cannot carry on fighting at all, this is a knockout and the opponent wins automatically, just like in Western boxing. This was a generic guide and introduction to the sometimes complicated sport of Wu Shu. And if you want to know the specific detailed marking criteria for either Tao Lu or San Da, you can download the exact judging criteria from the International Wu Shu Federation website the governing body for Wu Shu worldwide. But if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. 
follow me on Twitter also and share this video on Reddit. But in the meantime, enjoy Wu Shu.